In this video, we're going to discuss parent-child relationships in your SketchFX model. A parent-child relationship is the relationship between an effect and the other objects in your model. By default, when you add effects to your model, they affect the entire model. When you set an effect as a child, it will only affect the object it's a child of. Parent-child relationships are indicated in your effects list by an extra indent. If an object is indented, it's a child function of the object above it. For more information on the effects list, make sure to visit the Getting Started with SketchFX video in the links in the notes below. There are three types of objects in SketchFX, images, filters, and masks. Images represent the actual image files in your model, things like styles, actual image files, and your model itself. The other two types of effects in SketchFX Filters and masks can both contain parent-child relationships. The first are filters. Filters alter the properties of images in your model. Filters can be both children of various images in your file, or they can be set to affect your whole model. The second are masks. Masks can only be children of image files. The reason for this is that they specifically affect the visibilities of different images in your model, so they can't be applied to the model as a whole. Let's start out with an example. In this example model, let's start by applying a style to our model by clicking the plus button. Go down and select the style option and click OK. Now let's go down and select a style. Click on the style section in your effects list. As you can see, this opens the style properties area down below. Under default style, let's scroll down and select sketchy edges slash Conti. A couple things to note on this. The first is that you can see that SketchFX has applied this style to your model, but that it's somewhat transparent. This means the lines and the faces generated by the style are see-through. For the sake of this exercise, let's adjust the opacity to 1, meaning you could no longer see through the faces in your model. When you do this, you can see that this style is now applied to your whole model. Now we're going to apply a mask to this style. Remember, masks can only be applied as the child version of an image. Click the plus button, scroll down, and select the option for linear mask and click OK. This applies a linear mask to your style, meaning that now the style is masked in your model and only shows half of your generated effect. You can adjust the settings of your mask in the linear mask properties area. Let's adjust the angle of this mask to 90 degrees so that your mask is vertical instead of horizontal. In addition, let's select the invert mask option. This will flip your mask 180 degrees so that it's applying your style effect to the right side of your model instead of the left. As you can see, your mask is a child of the style that we inserted. You can tell because the linear mask note in your effects list is indented underneath the style that we inserted. Let's insert a second style into your model. Click the plus button, select style, and insert a new style into your model. Go down to the style properties and select assorted styles slash blueprint. Let's take a look at where this style gets inserted because it affects the overall look of our model. If you remember, SketchFX applies effects in your model in a top-down order, meaning effects at the bottom of the list in the effects list get applied last to your image, so they show up at the top of your image. This means that this style is getting applied on top of the mask style we created before. If you set your opacity to 1, you won't even be able to see your other style. However, if we set our opacity to 1, then click the up arrow button, SketchFX will apply your second style on top of the first, generating a split style effect. You can adjust the location of your linear mask by adjusting the X and Y locations in the linear mask properties. By using masking, you can create stylized images like this one. 
Let's take a look at how parent-child relationships affect filters. Remove your linear mask by selecting it and clicking the minus button. Then, add a radial mask effect to your second style. This will apply a circular mask into your model as opposed to the linear effect we had selected before. Note that you can reverse the radial mask in the same way that we reversed our linear mask by clicking the Invert Mask checkbox in the Radial Mask Properties. In this case, we're going to leave this box unchecked. Click the plus button to add a new effect to your model. Scroll down and select the option for Blur. This will apply a blurring effect to your entire model. You can see how this makes the lines in your entire model blurry. However, there is a box in your Blur properties called Effect Previous Only. If you check it, you'll notice a couple things. The first is that the Blur function is now indented under the Sketchy Edges style. This indicates that it's now a child of the style. The second thing you'll note is that now the Blur is only applied to the Sketchy Edges mask that we put in place, so it's only affecting the lines in that effect, leaving the other lines perfectly clear. This allows you to create emphasis on certain areas in your model. You can make all the filters in SketchFX children of image files, including things like fog, colors, blur, bloom, and other filters as well. For a complete list of the image types, filter types, and masks in SketchFX, make sure to visit the documentation at the link below. If you have more questions, make sure to visit the SketchFX forums at the link in the notes below for more help. Thank you for watching this SketchFX tutorial.